All right, so I'm going to show you some cool stuff you can now do on logomaker.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and search for abstract. So I'm going to look for some abstract stuff that's now on logomaker. Logomaker now has over a million icons and graphics that you could choose from. Um, and it's unlimited. We keep adding more and more and more, which is pretty sweet. So um, let me go ahead and grab this. Um, we're working on that. That's goes small t sometimes you have that make bigger but let's go ahead and click on this and highlight this I'm gonna go to the paint bucket tool and I'm gonna make this kind of a purplish fuchsia color and every other one I'm gonna make fuchsia just like that and then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna make it a little darker just like that to a darker fuchsia like that and then I'm gonna even go a little bit darker for the inner ones just like this so we have this like purple kind of fuchsia thing. Okay, so now you got that, right? I'm gonna unselect it by clicking that right there. And then now I want my text. Now, uh, so I'm gonna push this here and I'm gonna grab some text and I want this one right here. So I'm just gonna copy this over here and I'm gonna paste it into there and get that color just like that. So, oh, I missed one. Let me grab that. So let me grab my paint bucket tool and I'm going to put that. Oops. I want this one here. And I want to know what this one is. There it is. I got it. All right. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and just do loving care. Um, and I'm going to choose a font. What you want to do, typically do is pick a font that's kind of thick, whatever you're using. It, so, for example, if you're using something that has more thin lines and jagged lines like this guy right here, then you want to use a font that's similar to these lines. <clears throat> Since I'm using something like this, I want like a, a rounder font or a bolder font. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go over here. And I probably want something a little bit more bold to kind of go along with that boldness so you want to go ahead and make sure you pick the right font that looks good for you and um, and make it look really really nice um, so there's two ways of doing um, stuff you could also put it on the bottom or you could put it on the top and you could and if you do it on the side you probably want to make it bigger and maybe this a little smaller so it kind of goes in with that uh, a lot of people do these creative things where they're putting space in the middle of this and then they'll go like that, which is kind of cool. Um, so there you go. And then you got your loving care. Now let's say you wanted some other abstractions on here. You wanted something on the eye. You could also copy this if you wanted to and paste it. Control C or Command C, Command V and put that here kind of like that as well so you could do a lot of little things just by getting real creative and um and it looks really really nice and notice like the inner li lines are the same as those outer ones as well so that's just something really cool i just kind of put together quickly you could probably get a lot more creative than i did right now but that was extremely quick and it it's it shows that like you can make a logo and um in really relatively quick time if you know your colors if you know the feeling and also you could go check out other big companies and compare like what are other big companies doing so like if you look at apple or look at other big companies usually they're pretty simple in nature um, but i would always look at them and then come back and see what you really want to uh, give out it's more of a feeling than anything else that you're trying to uh, push out there you're pushing out a feeling when you have a brand and stuff it, what kind of feeling is it a loving feeling is it like I'm gonna get down the business feeling what kind of feeling are you pushing out there when you're having uh, making a logo